Hey guys, here's an update on the Stutz block that were Stutz engines that we are building. I have the valves done. We made brand new valves uh, and they are finished cut uh, on the lathe. So I have one more cut and that'll be the undercut here because it's such a large stem. I think we might be able to pick up some more flow if I uh, just clean up the stem there and, and uh, bring it down a bit. So we're cutting seats right now and we'll take you through how we're cutting seats. So you can see a couple of finished seats there. Uh, they are three angle and they're very accurate in terms of concentricity. Uh, we're using uh, my bridge port and a three angle uh, seat cutter that cuts it all in one pass. So let's go through and show you how we're cutting them. Okay, here's my pilot. I have another pilot here that's a couple tenths different. And we're going to cut this seat here. Drop the pilot in, get a little whack, and spring. Okay, here I have my vial, and I will level the block uh, to the, the, I will level, excuse me, the uh, pilot to the J-head. So the J-head is perfectly level to the table, and uh, now I'm going to level this so that it's all in a straight axis so my concentricity can be within a thousandths. Uh, let's do it. Okay, so I leveled it. I came in here and I found my, uh, made sure that I'm on center to it with my indicator, and... Now it's time to cut it. I've already put my uh, lube on the seat to cut. And I'm going to go in. It's going to be a pretty big cut because this is a fresh casting and the pilot's probably way off from where it should be uh, in terms of the center of the seat. So what I do to keep maximum rigidity and uh, surface, you can hear it's cutting on one side now. I engage my auto feed and just feel it here. And I mark my zero and see how far we're going to be cutting. You can see I can watch how many thousands down I'm going. We'll stop here at 15 thousandths and inspect. There's my cutter. You can see the uh, the three angles are already cut into the the uh, carbide here, and it looks like I've just been cutting on the end here. So let's take a look. You can see it's starting to take shape in there. There's an area here of uh, bad seat contact, and uh, so we're getting real close. Uh, let's walk it out a little further here. I just push a little computer here and it moves it out. There we go. That's better light for it here. So we're getting there. I'll put some more lube on it. We'll cut it again. Okay, there's the finished seat. You can see the three angles on there and the uh, seat width is controlled. Uh, I'm running a fairly thin seat and the reason is is that the... Uh, let me just get that spring out of there. The spring... Uh, tension is so low that it helps to have a thin seat to get your uh, seat contact, uh, your seat pressure up. So it helps with sealing. And we'll do a vacuum test on everything before it's all done. So there we go. There's our valves and seats and our guides we've already honed and finished. I didn't video those, but uh, maybe next time. Hope you enjoyed and uh, ask any questions you'd like. Be happy to answer them.